All right, so let's really make sure we know how to do these KSP problems involving pH. Okay, so first we see that we have a saturated solution of rubidium hydroxide, pH of 12.35. So if the pH is 12.35, my pOH is going to be 1.65. And then, of course, 10 to the negative pOH is going to equal my hydroxide concentration, and that comes out to be 0 0.0224 molar. And that, of course, is going to be X in my reaction because I have rubidium hydroxide breaking apart into the rubidium ion and hydroxide ion. Hold on, let me move that. So there's my hydroxide. And so my ice table, all right, initially, of course, we don't have to worry about the rubidium hydroxide. So rubidium and hydroxide, we're at zero, plus x, plus x. And so now I can see that my point zero two two four is going to be my x. And so now for my KSP, I just have to take the concentration of rubidium times the concentration of hydroxide. They're both 0 0.0224. And so when I multiply those two numbers together, or square the point zero two two four, I get five point zero two times ten to the negative fourth. So that's still the same as my original answer key. That's pretty straightforward because we have a one to one ion formation. So what about this? Here we see calcium hydroxide. Okay, now when calcium hydroxide breaks apart I get the calcium ion plus, I don't know why I keep, why I don't move this over, two hydroxides. All right. So if my pH is 11.45, my pOH is equaling 2.55. So 10 to the negative 2.55 will give me my hydroxide concentration. And that is going to be 0 0.00282, or 2.82 times 10 to the negative third molar. All right, but when we're looking at our ice table, we're going to discover, and I'm just going to, you know, calcium hydroxide doesn't matter. So, all right, originally nothing, plus x for calcium, plus 2x for hydroxide. So at equilibrium, hydroxide is equal to 2x. All right, so this, what we just calculated, the 2.82 times 10 to the negative third, that is equal to 2x. So what I have to do is divide that by 2 to get x. So 1.41 times 10 to the negative third is equal to x. And so now when I go up here to plug it in, 1.41 times 10 to the negative third and then this, again, was my 2x, 2.82 times 10 to the negative third. So now, when I go ahead and plug and chug, I'll get my KSP value. So KSP is the concentration of my calcium ion 
times the concentration of hydroxide squared. So calcium 1.41 times 10 to the negative third. Hydroxide 2.82 times 10 to the negative third squared. And when I plug and chug and get that, I get 1.12 times 10 to the negative 8. Okay, so again, because the hydroxide, there's two hydroxides, when I find the hydroxide concentration using my pOH, that is representing 2x. That's the big concept there. Same concept with this question. Calculate the pH of a saturated solution of iron 3 hydroxide. I'm sorry, iron 2 hydroxide. And we have our KSP. All right, so iron 2 hydroxide is going to break apart into the iron 2 ion plus 2 hydroxides. All right, and so my ice table, don't have to worry about my solid, 0, 0, plus x plus 2x, so at equilibrium, I have x and 2x. So now, my KSP value, 8.0 times 10 to the negative 16th, is equal to concentration of iron times the concentration of hydroxide squared, so x times 2x squared, which is our familiar 4x cubed. So now when we solve for that, divide by 4, take the cube root, I get x is equal to 5.8 times 10 to the negative 6th. All right. So in order to find my pH, I need to find my hydroxide concentration. Hydroxide concentration is 2x. Okay, so 2x is what my hydroxide concentration equals. So that is equal to 1.16 times 10 to the negative 5. And so now, since that's my hydroxide concentration, my pOH is equal to 4.9. My pH is equal to 9.1. Sorry about the little confusion on the answer key. Hope this helps you make sense of the situation. It's a great question. You just have to, again, keep track of how many hydroxides are coming out. So that's why these questions like to be done. And again, just another little layer to the onion of chemistry. All right, see you soon.